1013, one of the most popular goals for the beginning of the new year is improving your financial situation. So what are some meaningful steps you can take toward meeting your money goals in 2022? Joining me right now is author and certified financial educator, Steve Siebold. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning. Okay, so how can people make good on those financial resolutions? Well, I think one of the things you have to do is, is find something that really motivates you emotionally to set a financial resolution and actually keep it. You know, we're all good at setting them, but keeping them is a whole different thing. So make it emotional, make it fun, and set a good goal that would excite you and get you motivated to, to stick to it. Okay, so just a lot of people want to improve their financial wellness. Um, and so most people we hear about, we'll start, I guess, at the beginning with things like improving your credit score, establishing emergency uh, fund. How do we do that? You know, if we're just now getting started, we don't know a lot about money. Yeah, absolutely. Those, those basics you guys were talking about earlier are great. You know, go, go, go online, Google, the, you know, free credit score. Go on there, check your credit score, shore it up if there's any issues. There, a lot of times there are issues and uh, they come up and you don't know they're out there and it, it really does hurt you. So try to get those basic things down, uh, set a budget, you know, very basic things and that'll help you get started. Uh, but for people who are more advanced, you know, maybe they do have a really solid credit score and they do have that emergency income. So now we need to start transitioning into other things like passive income, for example, having uh, those multiple streams of income. And a lot of times, you know, you have to take a leap of faith in order to do those things. Like maybe you're thinking about real estate investing, for example. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just based on, uh, you know, based on your situation. You know, remember things like investing are speculative by nature, and if you have the money to lose, uh, then then it's not a, a bad play. But you might, for most people, they probably want to play it safer, maybe by starting a small business or something of that nature, where they really can't lose too much money. You know, be careful; it's easy to lose. But yeah, setting, creating multiple streams of income is what self-made people typically financially typically do, and uh, it's easier than ever thanks to uh, technology. Yes, and you can learn a lot online. Uh, a lot of people who are maybe farther along in their financial walk, they will start to invest as opposed to just saving. And so for people who are maybe looking into starting to invest in stocks, for example, there are some safer um, alternatives. Like uh, there are um, index funds, for example, that you can invest in that are typically safer options in investing in specific stock. Yeah, absolutely. That's why you want to you want to work with a financial professional. Do not attempt to do this by yourself unless you're an expert. And because it's it's uh, the stock market is like walking into uh, to uh, the Bellagio in Las Vegas and saying, "Here I am. I'm going to be a millionaire." And uh, that's very very. Dead. They're way those buildings are fancy as they are uh, for a reason. The, the, the house is making the money, and the stock market is very much the same. The experts do well, and everyone else uh, it pays the bill. So work with a financial professional to make sure that you're doing the right thing and you can afford to uh, take risks. Now Steve Siebel is a certified financial educator and the author of the book How Money Works which is now has sold more than 500,000 copies. Tell us how we can get our hands on this book and what you'll learn from it, the takeaways. Sure, yeah, my, I co-authored this book with a gentleman named Tom Matthews, he's a 40-year veteran. As a matter of fact, he's from Cincinnati, 40-year veteran of the financial industry. And they can get it on Amazon.com or if they go to HowMoneyWorks.com. And what you'll learn are the basics of financial literacy that we were not taught in schools, mm -hmm. simply because the financial lobby does not want to talk because the less we know, the more they earn. And so it just educates people on the basics. And it's literally so simple, a 14-year-old kid could, could read this book and understand it in probably an hour or an hour and a half. Wow. So we can get that book on Amazon. And you know what? That would be a great Christmas gift. Even if it arrives a little later, that would be a great Christmas gift for someone who is looking to improve their financial outlook in 2022. Thank you so much for being here with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And let's send it on over to Olga for your Christmas forecast.